dirty shovel, the main part of it, folks, so is the whole note, half note, quarter, ah, dotted, sixteenth. And of course, the main part is a two bar phrase. Hey! Remember this is a controlled rebound, a ghost note. Purdy, everybody, playing the Purdy Shuffle. That shuffle has launched so many classic songs. Fool in the Rain, Rosanna, Grapevine Fires. You're like, what's that one? We'll look it up later. The Purdy Shuffle, that's what we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna learn the Purdy Shuffle. We're gonna see how much music it can be placed in, discover where it doesn't belong. All today on the drum department, starting right now. Starting now? It's like right now. <laughs> I'm always trying to buy time for the production crew. <laughs> Is it starting now? Yeah. Man, what a great clip of Bernard starting out. And I hope we didn't clickbait anyone with a thumbnail thinking Bernard's going to be in this lesson. I'd love to have Bernard back oh. out. But no one in the studio can rock a sweater or a shirt like he did, man. That, That's true. That thing was amazing. And um, when we had him out, Jared, Jared had this whole plan. He had the whole lesson planned out. He's like, Bernard, this is what we're going to do. And then Bernard <laughs> looks and he goes, hmm. He's like, yeah, you know, I'm going to do my own thing, I think. <laughs> actually? Yeah, actually. So all those hours of planning, like, the perfect, like, how to break it down. We had sheet music written and everything ready for graphics. And he just looks at us and he's like, no, I'm going to do my own thing. And what do you say to Bernard? You're like, okay. <laughs> That's what happened. Anyway. That's well, amazing. the inspiration for this episode came from that exact opening clip. Because he literally says... Whole notes, half notes, quarter notes, triplets, 16th notes, 32nd notes, dotted notes, two bar phrase. That is like a like a like a barker pitching a salve or a tonic. It's like this works everywhere. <laughs> Does it? <laughs> yeah. We're gonna force it. We're gonna we force are gonna it. force it. Now the thing is, it is an amazing groove, an amazing beauty. It's in so many things. Uh, and it's inspired a ton of things. That's the other thing too, right? Not just lifting that idea. It's taking that, boring it, and turning it into a lot of other things. Um, yeah, so I'm super excited. Please, Dylan. Did he invent it? <sighs> can you invent a drum beat? You is can. That, is that possible? You can put your name on a trademark. Yeah. So there is some conjecture, and I want folks out there in YouTube land and the members area, talk amongst yourselves a little bit here. Um, we cannot prove or disprove which came first. Fool in the Rain or the Pretty Shuffle. They're pretty close. Mm. Bernard claims, and I had to dig deep to find this, of course he claims he created it. We don't have John to ask. So it's hard to say. This is another one of those things where we might just be lost to folklore and history at this point. Uh, but it sure makes a great story either way, in my mind. Right. So I want to start by just discussing what this is for those of you out there who are saying, what the heck's a pretty shuffle? Okay, so a shuffle feel, if you will, a basic shuffle would sound something like this. Right, so you got your backbeat and your, and your downbeat. But you got this shuffling sound on the hi-hat, which is basically like a swing pattern. Just played more consistently. So the Purdy Shuffle takes that idea, but instead of going, it turns it into halftime. So instead of playing on two and four, you extend that pattern out so that the backbeat falls on three. So you can kind of 
kind of see where this is going, right? Now that's kind of a very rudimentary explanation of what this feel is based on. But what Bernard does with it, what makes it so friggin' cool, is he adds all these little ghost notes. If you're a Zach Grooves fan, those are known as Ghosty Boys, which I learned this <laughs> that's weekend. Right. Ghosty Boys, Dave. Ghosty Boys, that. Yeah. really? Yeah. That's good. Thanks, yeah. Zach Grooves, for that one. Um, so he's playing ghost notes in between those hi hat notes. I gotta say, it is just ridiculously hypnotizing. Mm -hmm. Now, if you really want to go to the extra level on this one, Bernard being cheeky, adds that open hi-hat thing he does on the last triplet. It's like four-way ind independence and coordination, but he makes it look like it's the easiest uh, thing in the world to do. Dylan and I had never heard him do that, so for this competition... He did it in the video we just no, watched! Just, just, yeah, that makes me nervous. <laughs> oh, goodness. This is going to be good. You know, I don't know. I, I, I've played around doing this kind of stuff before, forcing grooves into things, just hearing how they sound. But... Dave will force grooves into anything. <laughs> yeah, my band has hated it's me. It's true. But, um, Does never... it in meetings? <laughs> yeah, I definitely do. <laughs> Guys, what about this? Have you ever been at a restaurant, you got your fork and your knife, and you start doing in the shuffle, the pretty shuffle. It's, yes. Yeah, everyone gets uh, mad at you. I'm, I'm guilty of that. <laughs> yeah, especially um, chopsticks. Yeah. Um, so it'll be good. I've never done it with the pretty shuffle, though. Have you busted this out at gigs? Have you guys had to do this on oh, these yeah. songs? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But we did, like, I play in a cover band that does, like, Fool in the Rain and Radar Love and stuff. So okay. a lot of, like, halftime shuffles and stuff. Uh, so it's, I'll like, do my it go on uh, Santeria. Sublime. Oh, yeah, that would work. I don't think he does it on the original, but... No, he doesn't. Just oh, that up, would work, yeah. You just end up doing it. Well, that's one of the songs in here, maybe. Oh, I hope so. Uh, yeah. It's not. Yeah, because uh, that's a fast one, dude. It's good. It's good. Now, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, it's fast. You gotta be pretty fast. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, like, that's, <laughs> that's a good one. I like that. Um, so, I was just looking in the chat here to see what's going on. Some folks are distracted by my t-shirt. Why? I fully agree. Why? Because Should she's I explain? the most talented singer to come out of the 90s. The songwriter... Canadian? Yeah. She's playing in Halifax Those tonight. records, so incredible. Most talented singer to come out of the 90s, I, I, you think, is Shania Twain. I think so. Between the vocals and the songwriting. Like, what Lang, about Mariah Carey? Oh, okay, songs are sorry. So I'm going on this quickly. So, hot take. I don't have this queued up, but if you're playing Man, I Feel Like a Woman, right, which is, I'm going out tonight, which is normally... Okay. I didn't think of that. Yeah, you wore the Shania shirt. In there. You wore the shirt. Yeah. Uh, I also want to point out, thanks to Tyson, our crack drum tech around here, we've set up today a drum set in homage to Bernard. So it's got oh, that cool. style, that vibe. Oh, we got the very why. angled toms and they're kind of, you know, going to and fro. We got the small tom here. Oh. We got a crash cymbal here. And he always has a china here. Really? Not always, but a lot of times, yeah. Okay. So we're going with that. So you guys are going to get to play this. The challenge today is not only are we going to find out if we can shove this beautiful groove into a bunch of different styles, we're each going to get a chance to do it. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Well, let's get into it. Yes, let's. Let's not waste Before time. Before we do anything else, though, let's see Bernard in action playing that groove um, uh, just in a song for context sake. So here is Bernard playing, I think this is Home at Last, Steely Dan. And they already told me that they didn't want to shuffle. They didn't want the Motown. They didn't want the Chicago. But they weren't sure how and what they wanted, but they did want halftime. I said, fine, then let me do the pretty shuffle. And they said, well, what is that? I said, well, I'll show you where you can feel comfortable with it, and you'll end up getting exactly what you asked for. Halftime, funky, laid back, without thinking that it's a shuffle. Hmm. I, I, I just get distracted by that man's sweaters. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was amazing. That was, was pretty good. Like, that is shot intentionally to be relatively dark, but that sweater's like, hey! Yeah. I, I mean, you, when you hear him, like, explain it, that when you hear all the songs that he plays it in, it's like, it almost did 
that was the re requested shuffle that people would ask for, you know? Because you mentioned, you know, you didn't want a, a regular shuffle, you want a Chicago shuffle. So, okay, well, I'll play the Purdy shuffle. And I think that that's like, I get those requests too. It's like, kind of like that Purdy shuffle, they'll say, right? He, he, he kind of won the debate just by outliving Bonham. <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. that's longer, fair. Yeah. It. You could just say for the rest of your You life. have to say, though, it's pretty iconic when you can just say the Purdy Shuffle. Yeah. And everyone says, yeah. I can't think of too many other examples like that. I, like if someone said, play the Steve Gadd groove, well, maybe you play the 50 Ways groove. But there's 10 other ones that might qualify. Like play the Steve Gadd Shuffle. Mm -hmm. Play the Vinnie Colliuta thing. Which one? Mm -hmm. Bernard Purdy, the shuffle, yeah, mm -hmm. everybody knows, or at least it's kind of a rite of passage groove for so many of us, uh, because it's got <laughs> it's got everything according to Bernard, literally. It's like one of those grooves that you go into the music store and on guitar. Remember we were talking about that, the famous hooks. It's yeah, like, mm -hmm. it's kind of like that. That's the song. If you got some drummer sitting down playing, busting out the shuffle, you know. Yeah. You're looking at me like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Dylan's did, like, I remember e -e. Kyle saying what people would play at music stores, and it's not that. It's not that. I think it's because yeah. it's a tough. It's a tough it's group. A tough it's, one. It's, it's 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 deceiving. You know, you hear it, it's like, oh, I could play halftime. I could play a shuffle pattern. But then you fit all those notes in there, and you make it feel good. That's what's tough. You yeah. Know? Especially when you get fruity with the hi hat openings and stuff like that. Like, good <laughs> luck. <laughs> Rudy with the hi hat opening. Okay, Kyle, what you've given me a tom here with a yeah, opening. Can you bring that into frame? I want to see that thing all in right. all of its glory, please. Oh, okay. There she be. Look at that. Thanks to our friends that used to make drums. This is from de facto drums, who are now defuncto, sadly. Um, sorry, it was right there. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we're, we've turned this drum into a, a, it's basically a surprise vault. Yeah. Dave, you want to show them the vault, vault hole? Yeah, show them the vault <laughs> hole. Yeah, stick your hand in the hole here. And Dave's got to go elbow deep. What's inside this drum, we have seven styles of music that we've queued up tracks. Our crack production team and our, um, what do you call it, our research <laughs> team have put together. You okay over there? Yeah, I'm good, man. <laughs> Dude, can I pick it? So what, it's what, time. So, yeah. so what we're going to do is... Uh, we're each going to get a chance to play a couple different versions of this and see if we can put that shuffle into songs that it has never been before. We are breaking new ground today, everybody. Okay, so you're going yeah. first? I'm going to go first. I figured guinea right. pig it. Guinea pig So it. we got, uh, I have no idea what's coming out of this drum hole. <clears throat> All right. Go elbow deep, Dave. Right. Deeper. Yeah, no, I can't. There we go. It's too deep. Okay, Kyle, you are playing. Oh, yes. I'm so glad I oh. didn't get this one. Gent. Oh! You, you are like playing. Gent. Oh, gent. no. I don't even know what that is. Gent, 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 gent. It's like the. This will be interesting. Okay. The. So here's the thing, Kyle, you picked the song. So you know the song. Oh. So of all the people to get Gent, I'm glad it was you. Um, it's the best thing about this show is that there's always the chance that I will completely crash and burn myself. Now we're going to find out. Yeah, right. yeah. The probability is very high. <sighs> I don't practice these things. I just write them and hope for the wait, best. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me you don't practice the Purdy Shuffle and Gent music? Not often. You're so silly. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's like saying, do I do my homework? <laughs> eh, maybe a little bit. <laughs> All right. Uh, John, when you're ready, let's hear the Gent track and see if I can put the Purdy Shuffle into it. Yes, sir. Did you try to do the doubles on the china? <laughs> it's just the wrong symbol for it. It's just so good. 
You know what I just learned? I, hey, everybody, I just learned something. Now I know why Bernard is a China there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's so good. Hey, good job, man. Uh, that's <laughs> That's a challenge. Uh, way to kick it off, right? Wow. <laughs> Thanks, Dave. What, what band was that? <laughs> yeah, what band was that? Oh, that's that? um, Periphery. Okay, cool. That's okay. from Wildfire, from their new record. Imagine wow. you were the studio drummer. You're like, let me just try something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, scream. Yeah. yeah. Okay, do the... Yeah. I just, I'm really into this thing right now. We got we, we to try it. No, it fits. It fits. <laughs> o OP in the chat says, not fair, dude. Gent is basically done with the pretty shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Um, Try to find another example of that. Yeah, Actually, ready? I will challenge you. Show me a Gent song with the pretty shuffle. I would love to hear that. We should get, we should, the first person to submit like a video, full video of them <laughs> playing a Gent song with the pretty shuffle. Yeah. And it sounds good. We'll give them a free year membership. Okay, yeah. sounds good. And it sounds good is the hard part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's a sound at least decent. In time, <laughs> halfway it decent. All right. It has to be original. You gotta form a band. <laughs> Write the song, <laughs> no, the studio, to be do the pretty. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But then you tell your band, "Hey guys, we're gonna write this thing." And the guitar player's like, "Uh-uh." Okay, Dave, you gonna go back? You gonna go back to the well there for another? I'm, another I'm putting my hand back in the drum hole all the way in. And I'm gonna find. I have a feeling he had that one pre-prepared for me. <gasps> I got another classic one for you. Classic. Oh, classical. Whoa. Classical. Okay. So we got, we got weird, Mozart. Uh, any meets, weird time signatures in here? Did you keep it pretty nice? Okay, I, yeah, I, I did my best to put, I, it's not, it's not funny if it's, it's not funny if it's mean. It is funny if it's dumb. Yes. So I tried to pick things that it should fit in. Ah, so we got like Beethoven Symphony <sighs> in the nine or something like this that. This should be interesting. All right. Uh, <laughs> Uh, John, when you're ready, let's do the classical Bernard Purdy shuffle. <laughs> this is good. Yes. <laughs> ah! Mozart. Okay, so if we can do gent and classical, we don't need to do any other ones. That actually sounded really cool. Though. Yeah, it, it really did. There's a channel on TikTok that where a guy he puts drums to classical pieces, and I always love it because no one really does that. And you you just knocked it out of the park there, man. <laughs> I guess I have a slight advantage because I did prep these. Could you? But I really didn't try them. Can you imagine if Mozart was alive and Bernard was still alive and they connected? Do you think Bernard would tell everybody that he wrote those tunes? No, oh, he did. Um, uh, yeah. I feel like that's how that, what's that famous disco song that goes dun 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 Oh, uh, well it's Beethoven's fifth, but it's disco, disco style. Version. Yeah. yeah, I feel dun, like that's, dun, that's how that came about. Dun, Someone was just yeah. jamming. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, totally. Yeah, that sounded great. That was fast. Too. Well, I gotta it's say, quick. Like, it's a little sprightly. Yeah. The most, the most, it couldn't be more polar opposites we got right up the very front. I would say. And you had to do both of them. We have some stuff in the middle now, we'll find out. We have a lot to learn from that. Whew. So I wish you guys luck. You now have a, a good idea of what's coming up next. So we're going to show a quick clip. Uh, I got to grab my laptop. I think the next one is an example. If this is someone else using the pretty shuffle to their advantage in a song that actually you might know. So uh, yes, of course, this is a classic. This is the isolated drums from Fool in the Rain by Led Zeppelin, which of course was played by John Bonham. Uh, um, I cut out the, the very top of the, of the two, the, sorry, for British, tune. Um, he lets out a great curse. I cut that out because it's okay. amazing. It just screams and okay. then he play, starts playing. Uh, so check out how similar this groove is to that purported pretty shuffle. But before we do that, we need to figure out which one of you two is coming into the hot seat here. So I think you guys should have to rock, paper, scissors for it. All right. Right. One out of one. So here we go. Rock, paper, scissors. scissors. Oh. So what does that mean? That means Dylan's up next, I guess. Yeah. All right. Your yeah. fist is getting a workout today. Yeah. <laughs> and on that note, here is Fool in the Rain. 
isolated yeah. drums it's so good oh. i know do you have is one of your clips coming up a Picaro? yes okay good because i was i, I want to do a poll at the end who did it best okay the yeah. thing about that is and that's what i love about isolated tracks when he does that open hi-hat thing which is really crucial to the way he plays that groove mm-hmm. it almost feels like it stops mm. but yeah. it's so lazy and it works so well in that band. Yeah. That's the thing about, like anytime you're playing anything with nuance, and that's why some bands sound so good, and that's why AI will never ever get to that. It's just that element of human feeling that gets put into it, and you're like, oh, that's super cool. Uh, you can learn so much uh, listening to isolated drum tracks. Oh, like if you're time. in the chat and you haven't done that, just go down the rabbit hole on YouTube finding yeah. random isolated Bonham or, or anybody. True. Drums you, you hear only. all these nuances that you're like, oh, I never heard that before and it's yeah. incredible. Absolutely. Okay, here I go. All Dylan, right, so Dave, ready? if you wouldn't mind, do you oh, please pull a uh, uh, song for, or genre for oh, Dylan please, here please to play. Please be Santeria. Please be Santeria. <sighs> old school metal. Ooh. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna get. Old school metal. <laughs> I already have a strained relationship with the metalheads. I screw up their subgenres all the time, so. Well, you know what? Old, now yeah. I have to play a pretty shuffle over their music. I'll be honest, I didn't know what to call this one. So it is old school. Okay. I would argue that the Godfathers of metal. So a little hint for you. Oh. Uh, yeah, I think now there's no drums in this. I believe you have click at least. So there's the saving. Yeah, you look like you had a count in or something. Well, yeah, you'll uh, get a count in. Okay. okay. Like two bars. Uh, Vivaldi, I didn't. But, uh, two bars. Two bars. Four Here clicks. We. Yep. Okay. And you know, feel free to let it a little bit go by if you need to get into it. Okay. Okay. Right okay. Now. Okay. All right. Here we go. This is old school metal played with the pretty shuffle. Boy, is it hard really to take well. Bill? It's hard to take Bill Ward out of that track. That's the whole thing is like trying to. You can hear the song is like missing the drums, but you're trying to play to it. Sounds so good, man. You did great with that. A- Ashley, good in the chat says, "I feel like I need to learn this pattern now." Yeah, yeah that's the thing. It just fits so many places, and it's so groovy. My goodness, great <sighs> job! Thank you. And that does work, Thank right? You. It totally works. Iron Man, as played by Bernard Purdy. As played by Bernard Purdy. That's pretty sick. Maybe we should just do a record. He, he's going to get so many gigs from this episode. We should do yeah. a record that is just putting the Purdy shuffle in all these styles. <laughs> just a record of that. There should be more <laughs> drum And we would call it in like a Purdy Purdy mood. Hey, hold on, hold on. Nathan in the chat just says, I shared the same birthday with Bernard, June 11th. That was yesterday. Oh my gosh. Did we not figure that one out? Like oh, yeah, that's why we're doing that's this. That's why we're doing this. Yeah. Happy birthday, Happy Bernard. birthday, Bernard. Yeah. I ran into him at NAMM this year. No kidding. Yeah, he's got a, a new signature symbol out and awesome. a few other cool things. Still dressing to the nines everywhere he goes. Man, when he came out here, he did a, a festival, the Victoria Fest, and we all went out for drinks and dinner after the festival, and there was this high school band playing and they were playing like that um, like just old school kind of music and 
the 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 band leader recognized Bernard, and Bernard was such a such a bro. He oh, went oh, up on stage oh, oh. and played like three or four songs with them. Such a such Can a you cool, imagine? I know how cool would that be. You're playing sax in your high school band, and Bernard Purdy's on your drums. Oh my goodness! Shuffling away, shuffling yeah. away, man. Super. Cool. Eight, no, six. That's the other thing off that the clip off the top. I love. He's like playing it really mellow, but he's yelling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Dylan, you ready for round number two? I, I think so. Back right. in the drum, Dave. That one was ki pretty <clears throat> kind. That one was kind. I'm gonna. Uh, here we go. Oh. What do you got? K-pop, buddy. Ooh. Okay. K-pop. Yeah. Um. I mean, I know like one song. Oh, what? You're I mean, the most qualified for this. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Am I? One yeah. is more than zero. <laughs> one is more than zero. I've seen your playlist, man. <laughs> what a BTS. I, I only is it know called? this from yeah. when we. I'll call it a fairly misguided Drumeo YouTube video where Jared played Butter. Butter, yeah. Oh, that's, that's the song? Right. No. Ah. Yeah, that's not what you're playing. But okay. what I can tell you, this song is very popular. Two billion views on YouTube. What? So we're trying to draw in that audience. Am I going to pretty shuffle Gangnam Style? No. Nope. Oh. oh, that would be good. If only. If only. Uh, okay, so this track, I can tell you, there's gonna be click off the top, but there is no click in the track because the drums are still in the track. Okay. Because there's space. Okay. Four clicks? You is, there, is there clicks off the top? Yeah, here we go. All right. So here we go, K-pop, pretty style. Good luck, Dylan. It's a little a tricky. To get in, but then it, I mean, you had no idea where that was going, right? Yeah. So that was great. Though. That was a cool song. Mm -hmm. well, is that BTS? That is Blackpink. Okay. Mm -hmm. Blackpink. Yeah, the song is called "Do Do Do," I believe. You guys are gonna see Just me go through a whole different stage of my life after this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, it worked though. I don't know what the song is about, but it's something about them being very fierce. That's all I know. Agreed. And yeah. your drumming was very fierce. Oh, I, I had, I had to reset. I was. I thought I'd get clicked through the whole thing, mm. but. What no. a rad song. That yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. Got a a little tricky though. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> but you made a great recovery on that. And again, I think kind of interesting having that juxtaposition because you've got sort of the trap drums happening underneath that and mm -hmm. you're like shuffling underneath that. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Yeah. I like that sort of tension it creates. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, you shuffle wherever you want to shuffle. That's right. Don't let anyone tell you where you can shuffle. <laughs> Now you have to do it, but you have to displace it a 16th note. <laughs> I tried to get the offbeat eight, and I was like, oh, I don't know, I better stay home on this one. That's yeah, or, or, or do the, the Dennis Chambers yeah. uh, thing. Right? Yes, oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Polyrhythm in, in the middle of the Rosanna Shuffle. Speaking of the Rosanna Shuffle, we're going to get you guys to switch places. Let's do it. Oh, okay. And uh, while you're doing that, we're going to show a clip of Jeff Baccaro explaining how he took this idea and made it his. Check it out. The Bernard Purdy halftime shuffle is basically this. The John Bonham beat that I copied from Fool in the Rain was something like this. Putting those two beats together, I came up with my own little kind of hybrid for Rosanna. I added the Bo Diddley figure. It's a shuffle Bo Diddley figure. Basically. And putting them together, this is what it came up with. Yeah. That's such an iconic oh. clip. His <laughs> space between the notes. I remember watching it any so wonder. many times. Yeah. Oh. And I think he did it, he plays it differently in the actual song. There, he breaks it down wrong or some sort of If you're watching out there right now and you're wondering, there is a great story about that because it's true. What he teaches there isn't actually what's in the song. Seriously? It's very close. 
but it is, it's a great conjecture point where everyone's like, that's not what he actually plays in the song. That's when he says, he gets out of jail when he says, basically. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> but you, just the way he plays that feel, it's got so much space and so consistent. It's so just perfect. But man, what a, what a great feel, right? We'll have to do a poll at the end. What's your favorite shuffle, perversion of that? Is it Bernard's OG? Is it John Bonham's maybe OG? Or is it uh, Jet Picaro's? That's a good question. That's a really tough yeah. one. Yeah, and That's the, a tough a, one. I had another one that we I just didn't need for today. Uh, there's a great clip, or actually we have it inside Dremio, um, of Jason McGurr from oh, Death Cab yes. for Cutie. There's a song called Grapevine Fires. Yeah. And he does his version of the, of the Purdy Shuffle. And Jason is a master at subtlety in creating drum parts. He'll often be playing something and you're like, oh, I, I got that. And then you go and listen to it again. You're like, oh, that's sneaky tricky. Yeah. So much del- so, like, 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 like shading and like very specific choices with how he does things. Mm-hmm. And it really makes it work well. And he even says in the video, he's like, this is my take on it. It's not my, I'm not trying to play exactly that shuffle, but that idea really suits the song. And it's so cool the way he plays it. So check out Jason McGurr. Um, Grapevine Fires by Death Cab for Cutie, if you want a probably more recent version of that. That song's only maybe 15 years old, 10 years old. Cool, yeah. All right, so Dave, you're in the hot seat. All right. Dave, you're lucky. Why am I lucky? Because you get to do this thrice. Oh, I'm lucky one. We chose seven songs. No, okay. So. I, at least I didn't get gent or classical. Yeah, that worked out really well. I I, I was really hoping you'd get them. I need my cheater pedals. <sighs> Do you have a glove or anything, or you just go? No. Okay. No, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna participate. In Dylan, if you would please go elbow deep. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ooh. What do we got? This is gonna be cool. What is it? Dave's gonna rock some jazz crooner for oh, us. Come on, I'm the it's Frank. only other one. I hope it's Frank. There's right, no click. You know what? You know what? I, it's, there's no click. No, you'll have to just play to the to the to the vocal. Okay, just somebody get my swing down. All right, I'm good. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a jazz swing pattern for this. Puppy. You'll know the song for this shuffle, I think. I can't wait for this. This is gonna be great. Do I have click on this one, boys? You get counting, but that's it. Counting. You get a counting. Is it like it. a jazz counting? I wish it was. Okay, thanks, ma'am. Here oh. we go, jazz, pretty style. Hold on one sec before you start it. I got, I, I'm gotta make here we go. Friends. Here we go. Uh, did you did you want us to move something for you while you're at it? Perhaps no, you want a beverage. Let's just oh, do this it. is the All wrong right. angle for the snare drum. Uh, where's my only blue M and M's? By the way, <laughs> <laughs> this is the wrong. I got your blue M and M's over here. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Come fly with me. Let's fly. Can use some exotic booze. There's a bar in far Bombay. Come fly with me. Let's fly, let's fly away. Come fly with me. Let's float down to Peru. In Lama Land, there's a one man band, and he'll toot his flute for you. Come fly with me. Let's take off in the blue. Once I get you. <laughs> that took me a bit to get it. It's it. tough because even if there was click in there, it'd be. Well, they do the shots, right? But I was just going to say, that was kind of mean because it's not to click. No, it? I know. No, I was like, if you can play to the vocal, oh. you'd be okay. And you yeah, did a great vocals, job with the that. The vocals when, it, when, when I got it. But I was trying to do, like, instead of doing. I mean, I'm a rock drummer, so it doesn't come through. But yeah, that was a challenge. That was a challenge. Give me one with click. I like time, that. Guys. That was good. <laughs> yeah. Go and fly with I got me. no problem with that. But it's good. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. It's like the lo-fi version of it, right? Yeah. Anyway, that was cool. And I'll Frank, like Frank would be like, I don't know about all the backbeats, boys. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of gets in the way of my. Phrasing. <laughs> Would that be Sonny? Oh, <sighs> who's on drums on the original? I. It could oh, be yeah. Alvin Stoller. Oh, it yeah. could be oh, Sonny Kyle, Payne. Kyle knows the answer to all these questions. No, Brandon and I started looking it up, and Alvin Stoller played on a lot of them. There's like three or four guys no one has heard of, and if you listen to the drumming on that recording, it's so sparse. It's, there, it's in there. I didn't take it out. 
probably AI. <laughs> <laughs> just program it. Could be. It was way more advanced back then. All right, so that's it. jazz. I still think that works. Uh, yeah. let's, Dylan, if you want to go back in. All right, All right We got two more choices. We're kind of fishing around Two in more choices. Yeah, we're getting down to the slim pickings. Oh, perfect. What is that? I don't give you the two, the only two types of music there are, country and western. <laughs> and uh, Dave's going to now take over his persona, <laughs> slim pickings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, slim Dave's pickings. Dave's country name. <laughs> I get jazz and country. But literally the two styles of music that I listen to it's the like, least. It's like jazz and country. They don't really. This just doesn't work. This is plaid. You guys plaid this. Bring up, bring up the hat. Yeah, bring up the hat. Yeah, the ten gallon hat. It's funny because it's bigger than a regular so, hat. So, so for the track, do I do I get click? Do I get? Uh, this uh, one has click. This one has click. And this it? is the one I was practicing to earlier to make sure that this was working. Oh, well, the nice uh, okay. thing about it is if I've click, I'm just gonna play the shuffle. Dylan loves this song, by the way. Oh, really? He played it. Shania oh, Twain, lots. one of the best. Oh, I wish it was Shania Twain. I think it's I know what it is. Opportunity. The opportunity. <laughs> You're never going to live that down, Dylan. Okay, so now we have Bernard Purdy going country. All right, let's do it. Here this we go. Is wagon wheel for sure. <laughs> That was badass. Oh man, I feel like that was the beat that was supposed to be on it. Is no, because the original is just a straight shuffle. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, like double it's, sides. It's, it's, yeah. It would have been pretty cool to switch between the two. I wanted to, but I wanted to keep to the challenge. Yeah, yeah of but, course. Yeah, but like was, even in a gig, if you just suddenly went halftime shuffle on that thing. Yeah, man, that uh, one sits. <laughs> that one sits. Uh, in the members area, 3 a.m. hotel room drummer says, Slayed that boot scoot shuffle. Yeah. <laughs> boot scoot and pretty. Yeah, Kathy Boom Boom says, That works amazingly well. Yeah, well, you know, I am a country drummer for hire, so uh, oh. my specialty is... Kyle and I have all the country gigs in this area. Yeah, you do. Down. My you favorite do. comment, <laughs> that sounds pleasing. Oh. That's like the best compliment. Now let's check YouTube. Okay. No. <laughs> Thank you, Jeremy Supporters. Thank you so much. Oh, this worked out beautifully because I know what the last one is. Don't give me jazz again. This, it's not. No. Okay. Yeah, you Ready? may as well go in for the last Ready? one. The last one. Fishing, oh. fishing around. All right. Hopefully it's still in there. Oh, it's been in there a while. Yeah. Oh, I don't even know this style. Oh, great. This is going deep. Pop megastar. What the, What is that? Let's it's, pop mega. It's, I know a, it's a pop star that's bigger than a regular <laughs> star. It's bigger. It's, it's a it's mega. funny because it's bigger than a regular that's star. That's also, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, all right. So this, um, I don't think you're going to get click through this. Four click counted, but there is still drums in it. Oh, man. It's really clean. So pop mega star. All right. I just got to channel my inner pop mega yeah. star. All right. uh, yeah. you, you give yourself a moment or two when it comes in because it kind of, I think I took it from the verse so it comes in a little bit. If you All want. right, I'll wait for the Take chorus. Let's so, do it. Uh, here we go. This is Dave playing <laughs> pop mega star With the, the pur purdy way. Purdy way. Oh, fast. I remember when we broke yeah. up mm. the first time seeing this is it, I've had enough. It was like we hadn't seen each other in a month.
be played. That, that was the only one I saw Jesus approve of our camera. Op. You, <laughs> all, all the other ones, he was just doing the camera. That one, he was like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, the rest is like, mm. You know, I, I, that's my guilty pleasure is uh, Taylor Swift. Are you, are you a Swiftie? I'm a Swiftie. Yeah. yeah. You know what would have made it sound There's no shame in better. that. I'm wearing a Shania Twain shirt today. Yeah, I got no... I got no, no and you would wear a Shania Twain shirt. Oh, absolutely. What was that, Dylan? If, uh, if your snare was tuned up a bit... <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, what hey, is this? What's that? Seriously. That's the new Drumio drum key. No wow. way. Yeah. How do I get it? They're entirely free right now. Wait, what? wait, wait. That key is free? A hundred percent. I'm taking With free shipping. How do I get it? Can I just show it in action? Yeah, yeah watch this. So this is how you do it. Okay. You spin. How come it didn't fall off? Look at that. Because it has a built-in magnet. Oh my god. Did we just reinvent that? The drum key? Wow. We did. This is the best integration we've ever done. No, but we're, cool. we're we, patronizing the folks. These are actually free right now because we're yeah. so excited about it. And you just go to drumio.com slash drum dash key and you start a trial. So you have to put in a credit card, but you don't get charged anything. Doesn't have to be your credit card. Yeah. yeah. You get a Wait, week of lessons <laughs> and a free drum key. As long as it verifies. <laughs> it can be a, yeah. we, we actually did a drum key years and years and years and years ago. And it was, um, you know, it, it was a drum key. But um, if you push it a little too hard, it could break and you could. This is the first drum key. That's a drum key. This is the first drum key we've done since then because I think we've been a little bit scared. But uh, that's pretty cool. It's hefty. So there's like 200 people watching? At least. Yeah, just go get Almost one. Almost 300. Just go get one. Uh, for those of the members area, you're asking, how do you get a key? Don't worry. There's something coming for you soon. Yeah. In fact, hang out in the Q&A. Maybe we'll talk about that. Maybe we will. All right. Maybe good. we won't. We probably will. So that uh, was yeah. That was fun. That was great. I think we learned that you can pretty much put it anywhere you want, so to speak. Uh, and yeah. we weren't joking about that challenge. Send Kyle yeah. to at a drummer.com. Mm -hmm. A video of you playing a shuffle in a dance song. And um, yeah. Yeah, pretty so the qualifications pretty. that we're playing... The, the pretty shuffle in a gent song, or an example of it, maybe an, an existing song that has that in it. I would also be interested in that. Uh, Krad at drumio.com. You will get a one year membership to Drumio. That's days that's out. Got, yeah. got it. Uh, my awesome. Batteries out. Typical. All right, well, while we're uh, taking care of that, it's time to do Groove of the Week. Before we talk about who it is, let's see it. Good thing we're not live. Can you imagine if this was live? <laughs> Let's take that again. It's time for Groove of the Week, everybody. And before we talk about it, <sighs> let's see it. Oh, he's doing me dirty twice. Uh, I think he's, I think, did you bug him or something? No, he, I, he, he has it. I know. He, oh, Chris, Chris is like. <laughs> guy on TikTok, I'm like, this is this is something that you don't normally see on a street performer performance act. Did like it that. have a lot of views? No, it had like 14,000 views at the time that I watched. That's just it. Like, there's tons of cool stuff going on on the internet, but it's just people randomly on the street and in small oh, yeah. bars. Like, there's yeah. so many talented people that just don't do the internet stuff. Yeah, it's true. And so he plays. His name is Calvin Davidson. He plays in a band called High Fade Funk. Well oh, named. Nice funk. funk. Yes. They were so tight. That that was a great band. Yeah, it deserves more views. Um, when I saw it, I saw it only had 14,000 views at the time. I'm like, man, this this kid is a player. Dude. The whole band are players. So go follow and go check them out. Um, I haven't checked out their band. I didn't even know yeah, their band they're, name. I think they're actually just recording their first record right now. Uh, high Fade Funk, like High Fade, like haircut. And oh, uh, cool. Calvin Davidson. It's where you'll find him on the Instagram. We're going to add that graphic later. So we, there you go. Can we just watch it one more time? Please, let's. And by the way, before we do that, <laughs> because this is live and I, I, I love making sure that our crack 
uh, production team gets credit. I'm thrown to that clip, not even paying attention to the fact that it's Chris who was in this room Fixing my battery. was the one that was supposed to press play. <laughs> right. So John, thank you, you guys for best. taking you guys care of it. But now we're gonna see it one more time because Chris is gonna press the button this time. <laughs> Let's check it out. Ladies and gentlemen, please make some noise for John. You know, on second watch, it might be the bathroom. <laughs> that yeah, adds a ba- lot. Does add a lot. Like it. it's inspiring. It makes you want to go play out on the streets with your friends. Yeah, like, that's so sick. Literally playing on the street with your friends. I know. He command and he commanded the attention just by playing. Like it was a kick hats snare. Yeah. For the most part, he got into Tom's, but he could have kept that attention. I respect that. that stuff so much. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. so cool. And really doing it, right? Like really doing it. I love it. Anyway, congratulations, Calvin. Congratulations. I think his name is Calvin, Calvin Davidson, yeah. Yeah. High Fade Funk. Please, everybody, run right now. Well, I'm like, wait till the show is over and then go and just like and share and subscribe to those guys, especially Calvin Davidson. Cool. All right. It's time for Student of the Week. We're going to celebrate this week. Mel's Bells. Let's see Mel play some drums. And then we're going to find out a little bit more about our student of the week. Mel's Bells. I've had my show. Delicate. Well done. So nice. Uh, Mel yeah. has been playing since 2021, so only a couple That's of it. years. Yeah. Um, Good for you. I've had the great opportunity to chat with Mel a few times through the internet. Uh, that kit she's got there, she bought used, and it's like a big seven piece kit of the symbols. And she first bought it, and she's like, This is so awesome. And then she got home, she goes, What do I do with all this stuff? Yeah. <laughs> I love that she's doing the left hand, right Open handed, yeah. Yeah. Uh, she started with an electronic kit. Quickly realized, no, 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 I got to feel these things. Went out and got herself that rad acoustic set. And she didn't put it here, but I'm 99% sure her dad plays drums too. I think I've actually seen footage of the both of them playing together. So Super cool. Yeah. Um, Yeah. And she just loves playing the drums. It's just like the place that she escapes into into that world of drumming, which we all do, I think. Her two favorite drummers are Charlie Watts and Jonathan Moffat. Fantastic role models, seriously. Uh, And just some great drumming. And uh, we love seeing the progress you've made, Mel. In those two years, I've had a chance to see some of the other footage. Awesome work. And like you said, you like playing that straight, solid, clean style. That's exactly what you're doing. Shows a great so, song, too. Super great. And yeah, the kit cool. sounds good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, great recording. That's so cool. And so if you're out there on YouTube and you're wondering more about Student of the Week and how do we do these things, and well, that's all part of our community. That's inside our members area. If you're curious to check that out, well... Obviously, go ahead and get that drum key trial. Yeah. yeah That's so what I would do right now. What was the uh, the uh, little URL for that again? Drumio.com slash drum dash key. Roman will pop it in there. For yes, he now. will. Go to that. Uh, I'm also going to get a graphic pop up on that one because that's a different one than we usually use. Right. But why not take advantage? You'll get seven days to check out what Drumio offers. We've got 5,000 songs <laughs> with transcriptions, with and without drums. We've got lessons with some of the world's best drummers. I would say most of the world's best drummers. Yeah. Yeah, we still got a few that we're trying to get. Yeah, yeah, but we'll get there. But and we're always doing all kinds of cool things, and that's all fine and, and well. But the best part about Drumio is the drumming community itself. You get to talk with other students, get supported by our mentors and our um, 
there's two M words, mentors moderators. and moderators. That's the word. Thank you, Dave. <laughs> You're welcome, man. They, sometimes they just get interchanged in my brain. Uh, but there's just a wonderful community with us. And the best way to check that out is just come and, come and check it out for a couple of days. And if you think it's a great fit, we want to be here to help you learn to play the drums. So that's it for my sales pitch, I promise. Cool. Speaking of sales pitches, Dave, we're going to talk about gear of the week. All right, what do we got and today? It's actually right in front of you. That awesome China symbol we've been playing all day. Ooh, the Pisces 9000 or 900 series. Yes. So yeah. it, you may have seen other versions of this symbol out there. If you want to you want to take that off for a sec, Dave? Yeah, sure. So Peisty put out the 900 series a few years back. Part of that relaunch was they were doing the color sound symbols again, which are black and red and a few other colors. But this is actually the color they chose for the line in sort of its natural state. Sort of a dark I like bronze. It. Yeah, I like it. Love it's it. beautiful. Now, um, Tyson set this up and he said, I put it the right side up. And I'm like, no, you didn't. So is it cool if I... Uh, Please. Yeah, right technically side? this I've is what they call that. inverted. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But yeah, this is how we normally would play it. Yeah. Though Bernard plays it the other way. I've broken every China I've owned. Yeah. So this is a 16 inch, <laughs> 900 series Pisces China. You'll see it's heavily hammered. It's made out of B8 metal, which uh, keeps it in that affordable price range. It's what they call uh, made out of sheet... Um, uh, BH, which should be last longer, yeah. too. so it's stamped. Yeah, they do tend. They're very uniform because of that process. Well, the nice thing about China is you, you don't need some of those same characteristics as the nicer alloys will give you. Right, you just need a that's bit true. Of trash, you know. And so let's hear what that thing sounds like, Dave. I got you. There you go. Thank you. It. 16 nice inch segue into the pretty shuffle on that button. <laughs> like, we wonder what this would sound like shuffled. That sounds great. I love how it sounds really sharp and kind of gets out of the way, but still has a bit of like kind of underlying undertone to it. It's got a little bit of body to it as well. Well, what I like about the 16s is they're not too in your face. A china can sometimes be just the wrong amount sometimes, but 16s are nice. They're fast. They're not too, I mean, you can even ride them. Might be a little thin for that, but they're nice. It's cool look too. Yeah, and so, this is part of the of the 900 series, uh, which is not crazy expensive. These sell in the U.S. for about 150 bucks. Hmm. That's okay. Yeah. Um, in fact, I would prefer this if we're comparing in the Peisty lines. The PSD8 Chinas are around the same price. I actually prefer this one. Hmm. Just a little bit more trashy. It's like you said. Sometimes it's hard to buy a china. Like you can spend a fortune on a china symbol made out of a really nice alloy. They tend to tr the, the the metal tries hard to make it sound pretty. A lot of times, the, the less expensive ones have that real nice kind of thing to them. Yeah. I would also say that may be a fantastic candidate for a stack. I was just going to mm. suggest that. Throw another couple symbols on top. Anyway, it's a good... It's, it's exactly what you need. I can play on that forever, but we should give it away. I was going to say, before, you break it. before I break it, I'm going to take it off now. Because, uh, yeah, Dylan, someone's, you someone's metal breakdowns. Are I need a suggestion. <laughs> this is going to go to our members area, and then we're going to give something away to the YouTubers as well. Right. Uh, let's see. I need a letter of the alphabet between A and Z. Please, Dylan. I'll take a G. G. Perfect. I like to buy a vowel, please. G. G. Goodness, G. Ba -ba -ba. My goodness. Perfect. All right, you're going to wonder how I came up with this choice because there's no G in this. But golly, I used it in a way. What? Helen. <laughs> Member Helen. Helen. You have won this beautiful China symbol. Congratulations, Helen. Congratulations, Helen. Email yeah. me at krad at drumeo.com with your mailing address and particulars. And we're going to get that symbol that Dave has uh, worn in for you. Nicely. Yeah. Don't worry, it's all good. It's it doesn't, all good. It doesn't look bent. It's perfect. It's yeah. It's beautiful. Congratulations to Helen! Just, just... Everyone's like, how did you get to H from G? Well, they're side by each. They're oh, side see, by each. I want to see Helen see the EFG rocking H. metal breakdowns oh, yeah. with this thing. Yeah! That'd be rad. All right. right here. 
YouTubers, it's time to give you guys a prize. We talk about the membership all the time, but we're gonna put our money where our mouths are. We're gonna give someone out there a one-year membership to Drumeo. You can check out all those cool things we talked about just because we like you. So let's see. Uh, Dave, you wanna help me out with this one? Um, yeah. What is going on here? I'm having scrolling issues. There we go, that's better. Um, a number between one and 10, Dave. Um, two. Ooh, two, I like that. I like two, that lucky number two. Uh, there we go. It's gonna go to Taj Washington. Taj, Taj Washington. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. You've won a one-year membership to Drumeo. Email me at krad at drumeo.com at your earliest convenience. We'll get you set up with a one-year membership, and you can come hang out with us and check out all our cool lessons, songs, and accoutrement. That's what I got. <laughs> yeah, Kucher, any any well, final parting words, Dave? Um, just before we leave, real quick, I just want to know, write your answer. We didn't do a poll, but oh, write yeah. your answer. Oh. Picaro Shuffle, Bonham Shuffle, or the OG Purdy Shuffle? I'll hear from you guys first. Um, Dylan, who do you think played it the best, or who's your favorite version? That's such a tough question. Because I'm, really such, I'm such a diehard Bonham fan, but the Rosanna one is just so iconic. I'm gonna go Picaro. Picaro, yeah. okay. Kyle, what about you? And you can say the same answer. Am I allowed to say Purdy? Yeah, the OG, Purdy. It's Purdy for me. Wow, Purdy for you? Okay. Yeah, because he ended up putting it in like several different songs in different ways. And it, it really, I think it changed a lot of things for a lot of music because he had the, he had the confidence to do it. Mm. He opened a lot of doors. Bernard Purdy shuffled so we could run. Oh, Dave? Oh my goodness. Well, I was gonna say Picaro, but you do bring up a good point with Bernard. I mean, I've seen him do it live, I've seen him do it on videos where he's talking through and he doesn't matter what distractions throws his way, he's he's like he breathes in that per purdy shuffle. So you know what? I'm gonna have to give it to the OG. Nobody picked Bonham? I mean, oh, bottom. No, I'm yeah. changing mine. <laughs> we got to we got to get rid of our old white man <laughs> cards, everybody. All right, what are the uh, what does the online community say? <sighs> it's split. Is it split? Yeah, I mean, it, it, there's a lot of agreement to, to I would say Purdy and Percaro so far. Okay. Though David Oaks did point out it's Purdy close. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I think that's a good time to end it. Uh, you know what, Dave, since you're there, I'm going to ask you to play us out. Which of the ones you played, or do you want to play one of the other ones? Pick one. Um, I'll do um, um, the classic Paranoid? rock. Yeah. Or, uh, War Pigs? War Pigs. What was it? No. Uh, it was Iron Man. It was Iron, Iron Man. Man. Yeah, so if you can queue up, I'm going to throw this at our production crew. If you can queue up the um, no old school uh, metal. <laughs> He's got no China. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Dave's going to play us out. Members, we'll come right back to you guys, and we'll answer your questions as soon as Dave finishes playing this, uh, this groove. We're good to go, can we do it? Is it possible? <laughs>